Welcome to another WASP tutorial. This one is going to take you through and show you how to use the WASP command line tool. The command line tool comes uh, installed in the WASP 8 installation directory. So the first thing you need to do is you need to be able to find where you have WASP installed. Usually it's on your C drive, US EPA, WASP 8. On my machine it's actually just the E drive, WASP 8. And the tool we're looking for is called WASP CCLI.exe. Now this is a command line tool, so you are going to have to open a command box. To do that, you're going to go to the Windows Systems and click on Command Prompt. And this will bring something back for the old timers out here. It looks like an old DOS box. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the directory that the WASP command line tool is. In my case, I go to the E drive, WASP 8. And then the utility, you would just type WASP CCLI dot exe space and I'm going to use quotes and then I'm going to give it the uh, the directory uh, path and file name to my WIF file and close it with quotes. We're using quotes because we have a space in the in the path name and once you hit enter the command line tool will, will uh, start and WASP will run and you'll see that it runs you'll see a little prompt come up say that what version is running and then when it's finished it'll say it's success successfully closed out the other way you could do it is actually go to your directory where your WIF file is and then type in the path to where the WASP CCL is. In this, my case, E colon WASP 8, and then I'm going to just type WASP CCLI.exe, and then my file name and hit enter, and then it'll take off and run. And once it's completed, you'll get the prompt back, and you'll see that in this directory we have created the output file uh, the, uh, appropriately with the BMD uh, file extension. All right, the next step is I'm going to show you how to create a batch file, which you can actually put in as many runs as you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my directory over to where my uh, input file is that I want to run. And I'm basically going to create a file that will have the same exact thing that we typed in at the command prompt, but it would just automatically run it. So you can string as many files together. So I'm just going to create a file, and I'm just going to call it wasp batch. And I'm going to change the extension to BAT. The uh, Windows environment knows that with the BAT extension, it knows that it needs to open up a command prompt to do so. So I'm just going to open this up in my editor so that I can just put type in basically the same thing I put in before. I'm going to type E colon WASP 8, which is where WASP is installed, with uh, then adding the WASP CCLI.exe extension and then the WIF file that I want to name and I can create as many of these lines as I want and it'll take off and run. I'm just going to save it and run this once. So once the batch file is created you just double click on it in your file explorer and it'll take off and run and if you had a string of 10 files uh, together they would one run right after the other. I hope you found this useful and keep checking back for more WASP tutorial coming up shortly.